Hi everyone, Holly Pike here from Artistic Cutworks. Today let's talk charger plates. How to create a charger plate and a template for your charger plates. It's really simple, not hard at all. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to measure your charger plate from one edge to the other. Now if there's little beads on the edge, measure inside that edge because you don't want your vinyl to be on top of those beads. So I measured my plate and it was about 12 inches wide. The next thing you're going to do is measure the inside of the plate where it goes down and is flat on the inside of the plate. You're going to measure that on the level flat surface. I measured mine and it came out to what about 8 inches. So you're going to draw those circles, then you'll left click and draw a box around everything and let's go to a line. We're going to make sure they're exactly in the middle. Mine are. Now we've got that done. This is what my charger plate design looks like. So let me show you how I did that. I've got my template. Now I'm going to go into lettering and put my cursor down. And let's do Mary Merry Christmas. Okay? I want Mary to be up here and Christmas to be down here. So I'm going to double click and highlight my letters. We'll go into the text style and let's find something fun for Merry Christmas. What should we use? Let's use that maybe. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do these in capital letters. So let's delete this. I tend to like capitals better because they don't come down in to the bend of the plate. Okay, that's better. That's much better. Much, much better. Okay. So we're going to double click and highlight our letters. Let's find something fun. Whatever fonts you have here, that'll work. On your computer, installed on your computer, will work. Now, if you just use a font here and you go to the top, it'll have your frequently used fonts. And here's my recently used Sweetie Pie font. Any font on my computer I have already purchased and have a license for. Okay, so I think this is going to be too small. So let's just make it a little bigger. We're going to select them both by holding our shift key. And let's go here and let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it about 90. And that seems to be a good size. Now, I'll double click and I'm going to grab this little big plus sign. And I'm going to drag it up and look what happens. It goes right around that inner circle. So I'm going to line it up about to the center. This is about six inches halfway on my mat. Double click this one. This one's a little more complicated. It goes upside down and then you have to fidget with it a little bit. There it is. There it is. There we go. That's what we want. And we're going to get it right about in the center of where we want it. Well, now we know that the letters are too crunched up. So this little slider thing is going to bring those letters up into the center of the area like that. Now we're going to kern. I'm going to click this guy because I want more space. And I'm going to add space between my letters just until they have enough space to cut. I can manually move them, but right now I don't want to move them. I'm going to go back and try and center that. Maybe move it up a little more. Play with it until you get it just the way you like it. And I think it still needs to be a little bigger. So I'm going to make it 100. Slide it up in there. Center it as best you can. And there's Christmas. It's a little too high, so I'm going to bring it down. Kind of like that. Let's double click on this one. And we're going to highlight it and make it 100 because the other one is 100. Hit enter. And now we're going to slide it up into the center and center that right in there. So now we've got our lettering. Let's change the color. Let's make one red and one green. That's the hard part about the charger plate. I'm going to go into my library now and I'm going to look for 
some design elements and see if I can find something to put in my Christmas. Let's take this one right here. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back into here and paste. Make it bigger. I will copy and paste again and I'm going to rotate it. About like that. Now I'll take my circle tool and I'll make some berries. Turn those red. Copy. Paste. Put another one there. Paste. Put another one there. I'm going to take all of these guys in the center and let's group them. And I'm going to move it up a little bit. Now, then, the other thing we have to do here is we need to select this, right-click, and make it a compound path. The reason we make it a compound path is I used a font that I purchased for commercial purposes. And if you don't have this font on your computer, you will not see this font. It will come in as some font on your computer that it thinks it likes. So make sure that you do make it a compound path. First, I have to release my compound path because I need to move a couple of things. We can move these letters manually to make them go exactly where we want them. I will select them again. Make sure you unselect the circles and make a compound path. You may want to move this one a little bit if that uh, little space there is bothering you. And here's your charger plate. Now you can take this circle and delete it and this circle and delete it and save your design and you have a charger plate. The arc is correct on both of these. You don't need the circles anymore. So we're going to go up to file, save as to hard drive. I'm going to save it in my cameo folder and this is going to say charger plate Mary Oops. Christmas and my initials so that I know that it's my design and say okay. Then I'll go back to file and save as to library. When it opens up the library you'll save it wherever you want it. Mine's going to go into test just like that. So now you have this design saved. Let's left click and draw a box around everything and group it. So now I can move it wherever I want to. But we're going to have a lot of wasted vinyl on this design because we've got red here and red here, green here and green here. So I'm going to move this over to the side and I'm going to copy and paste and move it back on here and ungroup. Now I'll ungroup this I'll select my leaves holding my control key and group them. I want the angle to stay just the way I have it. And I'll select my berries and group them so that they won't move. Now what I can do is I can take my berries and put them right here. I can take my leaves and put them here and move Christmas where I want to put it and cut it. You cut it with your colors. You put your green vinyl down. It'll cut the green. You put your red vinyl down. It'll cut the red. And then you weed it. Cut the pieces apart. Peel them off. Use your transfer tape. This will fit the top of the plate perfectly. This will fit the bottom of the plate perfectly. This will fit in the center. And your berries can be just eyeballed right on there. When you send it to the machine, you see it says no cut. You're going to say cut. You're probably going to use vinyl glossy or vinyl glitter, something pretty. I'll use a ratchet blade. Change your blade if you've used something like a sticky glitter vinyl. Change your blade to whatever it says to use. And you're ready to go. There's no tool in 
um, the slot number two. So this is the only one that's cutting because everything is red. Send it to your machine, transfer it with transfer tape, and enjoy your charger plate. How fun is that? I would save it again just to make sure. I'll go in here and find my charger plate and save it again and it'll say it already exists that's okay and I'll go here computer's a little slow today save it again to my hard drive to my library choose that and say okay yes I want to replace it and that's it that's all there is to a charger plate once you have your template you can just make charger plates for like crazy for everything and everyone and um, they're an awful lot of fun so have fun with it Again, my name is Holly Pike from Artistic Cutworks. Thanks for joining me.